Hello Sopranos, my name is Jeff Rolka. I want to thank you for checking out my video. I had a request for some exercises over the primo passaggio. Individual instruments may vary, so subtle variances um, can occur. It might be a little bit higher, something to that effect. This area of the voice is often overlooked in vocal pedagogy, and I am as guilty of this as, as any, so we're going to do some exercises right now. The goal here is to get a smooth uh, transition between the lower middle voice and then passing the primo passaggio down into the area below that which is the thyroarytenoid dominant singing voice so-called chest voice it would be great if you had a mirror to watch because I'm going to ask you to do some things with your jaw while we're practicing this consider your genre as well this practice is particularly important for those singing popular genres because of the melodies of these songs. Very frequently, you have melodies that are between C4 and C5, which puts your primo passaggio kind of on the lower end of this, but you're going to have to navigate it frequently when you're singing those melodies. So let's get into this. It's a really gentle, basic exercise. And what I'm going to ask you to do with your jaw is to open it after the tonal onset as you ascend and then gently close it as you make your descent. We're going to begin with a very narrow vowel, E. It sounds like this. E. So only slightly open to more of a hung position and then gently close. For you, Let's begin here. And. Now we're going to do this again, and we're going to change to the A vowel when we ascend. Now I'm thinking the thinking of this as so, do, ti, la, so. You could just as easily think of it as one, four, three, two, one, if you wish. But what it's going to sound like this time? So on the do is where we're going to switch switch to the A vowel. E Still gently closing the jaw as we make our descent. And we're going to start again here. You may find that your jaw resists opening too much when you do this particular vowel. That's all right. Try to feel that, that openness in the rear of the aural cavity more towards the back of the mouth. That's perfectly fine with the, the narrow rearward focusing vowels like oo. Ready? And...
to O. And there you go. I do hope this helps. This is so often overlooked, and it's an incredibly important practice for soprano vocalists who are doing popular genres. Just a couple steps below the primo passaggio are so frequently required to sing effectively the repertoire and the ranges of those melodies. And I, for one, have overlooked it again and again in the vocalizations. So. Here you go. I hope they help. My name is Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing, and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.